Okay, well, we moved on to another house. Uh, doing a house from the 18th, I think about 1905, I think they said, but they're getting ready to tear this house down. Um, on the way back to the car, and right to the edge of the property here, uh, I just got my first gold, and I got my first nice gold. Um, it's ringing up like in the 1230s. I'm surprised, I was, you know, usually I thought gold came in lower. I wouldn't know that because I've never gotten one before. But uh, Al looked at it, as obviously we both looked at it, the way it's clean. Um, it is a 14 karat gold ring, small finger. I can't get it on any of my fingers. Morning, everybody. Uh, Digger Al and Digger Don here. Uh, it's Saturday morning. It's been raining all morning. It just stopped. We stopped and got permission. First hole I've uh, I dug. We've been here about 20 minutes. Uh, I've already looked at it. My gosh, check this out, guys. Well, yeah, let's put it back in there. I got a Morgan dollar. I've got a freaking Morgan dollar. Got one last year, and I thought that'd be the only one I ever got in my lifetime. Holy cow. It's a... 1889. 1889. Yeah, look how gorgeous that scratch looks, too. Yeah, darn it. Wow. I got a top of a bottle or something. I want to clean up a little bit and I'll show it to you in a few minutes, but wow. I'm going to say that just one more time just because I, I feel the need. Wow. All right, see you at the next one. Good morning, everybody. Digger down here. I'm solo again. Um, I just dug something here and I haven't been able to clean it yet. Uh, this is number, if this is what I think it is and what I hope it is, this is number one on my bucket list. Uh, hopefully I'm not going to be embarrassed in a second and come back and tell you it's a token But I think I might have myself a two cent piece. That's down about nine inches um, It's greenish and greenish in color and Unfortunately, I can't see any detail on it yet. So I'm gonna clean it up and get right back to you. This could be huh, This could be a good day. Okay, folks. Holy crap My day has just been made. Al's gonna be so mad he didn't come with me today. I got my very first ever two cent piece I am absolutely stoked did I mention I'm happy well wow. let me clean this up a little bit um, this is a house that we hunted last year it's a small house from uh, the 1830s uh, a lot of old houses around it but this is the oldest house and this is where I got my uh, I got a large cent tear last year um, but man I got a two cent piece I am freaking stoked all right on to the next well, got me a little, I'm not sure what this is, thought it was a deep wheat scent, looks like it's got a lion head on it, or something, maybe not, maybe it's a cheer, or maybe it's a demon, maybe it's, a, I'm not sure what that is, I'll clean it up and show you better in a few minutes, alright, cool, let's find some more. Hello everybody, Digger down here, along with my son Digger L, who's got a hole over there in, what do you got there L? A Franklin half. A Franklin half, he'll show it himself. Make a tell a story about this. About five minutes ago he asked me if we could stop at McDonald's when we're down here, and I said the only way I'm stopping to buy you something to eat is if you get big silver. I said otherwise you're gonna get a banana strawberry smoothie, but if you want food, you gotta get big silver. So he's been here, <laughs> he's got a Franklin half, go figure. At the same time though, uh, I'm over here on the other part of the lawn. Just got myself a little sterling ring. Um, it's a little bent up, but I'm sure I can fix that. But uh, pretty cool. So I'll clean this up, show it to you again. But uh, this might be a good yard. We got about a half hour before it gets dark, so we're gonna we're gonna have at it. All right, see you at the next. I came back up to Wisconsin this morning and came back to the park where I got the two cent piece last weekend. Uh, been here a while, but uh, just got me a signal and I, I mean, I already looked at it. And uh, two cent piece and one cent piece. Got myself a large cent. Uh, if you look at it, there's absolutely nothing on the front. But if you look very closely on the back, uh, I'll show a still picture when I get done with this, but uh, I can see the one cent right in the center there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's one cent right there in the middle. So it's definitely a large cent. I have no idea what year it is. Don't really care. It's my first large cent of the year, so I'm happy. 
I'm back. Holy crap, I'm having a good day. This is a 1905 dog tag, Joliet, Illinois. That's, uh, that's where I'm at today, folks. I don't usually say that, but it's a big town. First time I ever hunted here. But it's a Joliet, Illinois, 1905 dog tag. All right, dig it down here. Still, still here. It's a Sunday afternoon. Been kind of slow today. Uh, it's been very dry, very hot. But just got a cool little signal and pull up a pull up a button. Let's see if I can get out of the sun here. Uh, it says Minneapolis Police on it. It's a two-piece. Um, I'll clean this up a little bit and get you a better pick of it. But uh, it's kind of cool. Like I said, hopefully this is focusing for you. But uh, Minneapolis Police button. All right, I'll clean this up and show it to you in a minute. Morning, everybody. Digger down here, along with uh, Alex Yoto over there. Um, we're hunting a new town that we've never been to before. A lot of nice old uh, houses here. It's so literally in the morning. Uh, we were doing a park, didn't have any luck. Uh, so we started driving around. It's only about 8.30, but there was a gentleman out doing some work in the yard, so we decided to... Yes, and he said, sure, go ahead, and I'm glad I did. The one thing I have not gotten this year that I've been wanting to get, we talked about it this morning on the way here, was a half dollar. They've been hard for me to find this year. So I got my first half of the year. Got, got a few of them last year. This is my first Franklin ever. Uh, Alex got a couple of them, but uh, 1952 Franklin, big silver. And I almost didn't dig it. It's, it's right next to a brand new fence right here. And I'm getting some nickel. I've been digging some uh, some nails right here, and I almost didn't dig this, but something told me dig it. And dang it, I did. Happy camper. All right, it's gonna be a good day. It already is. See you guys at the next. Okay, everybody, how you doing? Uh, I am back. I'm about to show you my best find of the day, best find of the week. Um, doing an old house here in a small town. Uh, this is my third one I've ever found. I love these coins, and that is why. I thought I was digging a deep wheat signal, but it just sounded, oh man. Um, that side you can't see yet. Let me see if I can clean this up a little bit with some Diet Coke and get a better look at it, but my God, I I, I, am, I, I know I don't sound it, because uh, I always try to sound real calm on, this, on the videos, but I'm happy. <laughs> I love these coins. Damn. All right, let me clean it up a little bit. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, there's Tom. There's Alec over there. I uh, just got another bucket lister. Uh, we're hunting this old church built in 1867. Um, groundskeeper was out here working. We stopped and talked to him, and he said he didn't care. And we asked him if anybody's ever been here before. He said not that he knows of, but he's sure it's been detected when he's not around anyway. First signal, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm kind of catching my breath here, this is a first for me. First signal, 18, uh, 1237, thought I was hopefully digging, uh, or 1236, I'm sorry, hopefully I was digging a, uh, an Indian. And I just got, check this thing out guys, it's a freaking half dime. It's an 1857 seated half dime. I've only gotten one seated coin in my whole, I don't want to say career, but since I've been metal detecting, I got a seated dime uh, this spring. And uh, this is my very first signal. I mean, the car is right here. Just walked to here, and this is at first signal. 1857 seated half dime. I know I've said that a couple times, and I'm probably going to say it a couple times again, but I'm excited. Um, we drove two hours out. We're not even to the destination that we're going to. We just, uh, we just saw this place and had to stop. Uh, and we just got here and it's uh, There is some property here. So Even though it's not focusing there's some property here. So uh, here we go We're gonna find some more Excellent See you guys at the next All right guys guess where I am uh, Came out again this morning to try a different church Got skunked there big time, so I came back to the uh, old 1867 church and uh, just had a signal, it's kind of iffy down there, but I'm not getting a lot of signals here anymore. We kind of cleaned it up pretty good, but I think I got myself an old Model T key. Alex won a couple of these earlier this year. 
Uh, the back's got, you can't really see it right now, I guess. Um, the back's got a number stamped on it. You can usually tell the date by that if you look it up. And the front on this one is a little bit worn, but you can see the Ford on there. Let me wet it just a little bit. Let's see if I can get it to pop out a little bit. And you can see it. But I believe it's an old Model T Ford key, or Ford Model T key. Excellent. Keep looking. There's got to be more at this place. Every time we've come back, we found something, so we'll keep looking. All right, catch you at the next. Hello, everybody. Uh, Digger Don here along with Digger L and my buddy Bob, the Bushman. Uh, <coughs> Bob got his permission at this house, built in the 1870s. A lot of land here. Now, those of you who know us know that my son, Alec, has been dying to get a large scent um, for the last year, year and a half. I've got a couple of them last year, really made him mad. Uh, we've been here literally 10 minutes. Um, I'm over there with the 12, 47, 8 inches. I stopped digging to come over here because I saw him jumping up and down doing a happy dance. Uh, anyway, he got himself his first, here, let me get out of light. his first large scent. This turns way to get the sun here a little bit. Oh, that is gorgeous. Um, flip it over, let me see that thing. It's his first one ever. He's been dying to get one of these things. He's a happy camper. And uh, look at his face, folks. <laughs> he's, he's a happy camper. Is there a date, Al? Can you tell the date? I can't tell the date yet. You know what? We'll clean up. We'll clean, ah, I'm sorry. Clean it up a little bit. And uh, we'll show it to you as soon as we get it clean. From where I'm looking at it, and I have very bad eyes, it looks pretty good. So, all right, everybody. We'll get back we moved you. on. Uh, doing a real beautiful old brick house from the 1860s. I haven't been here for more than a minute. And uh, check it out. I got a Sterling Air Force ring, United States Air Force. Uh, not focusing. Let's try this again. There we go. United States Air Force. It's a big hunk of silver there. Look at that. All right, I'm happy. Well, we're gonna clean this thing up and uh, give you a better look at it in a second. Let's get some well, more here. You made this guy's day. He's been in a slump. I'm hey, I'm recording this. You don't tell the whole world I'm in a slump. <laughs> oh, okay, guys. Uh, I got that quarter right over there. Uh, had a signal here. It was kind of a weird signal. It was, a, it was like a 749. So it kind of makes sense what I got. Uh, I couldn't get to it. I've been digging at this for a while. Finally got under. There were some roots down there I had to chop through. And I really wish I hadn't have done that because... Uh, yeah, I got it. Now we got a half dollar. We got a Franklin. Half dollar. I'll clean it up for you in a second. But uh, I saw the back. It's got some things on it. I sliced it. Uh, let me clean this up a little bit. I'll go right back with you. See if I can get a date. All right, guys. I'm shaking a little bit here. Uh, another signal. I've had a major problem today with roots. Had another signal, and it's coming up as a quarter. Uh, and I couldn't get past some roots, and I finally did. And I got another half dollar, and I scratched it. But this time, guys, uh, Tony, Tim, and Dave, I think I just joined your club, guys. You, you did. Uh, I do believe that's a seated half dollar. Use water. Use water. Holy crap. Use water. Uh, I scratched the back of it, and this one, you know what? I don't. I feel bad about it, but this one, there was some roots down there. There's no way I would even gotten to it without getting in there and cutting those roots. But oh my gosh, gotta love this house, guys. People in the backyard right now with the garden hose. I'm gonna go wash this off. I will be right back. I am excited. Uh, yeah, yeah. Back at you. Morning, everybody. Well, today, along with Digger Al. Doing a house, not sure of the age, I know it's well over 100 years old. Had a signal, it's kind of deep. Uh, thought he had an Indian way down there, but uh, no. But you know what, this is just as good. Got myself right, an old guys, skeleton I'm back, key. moved over here. I was just walking by and got a weird signal, it's kind of kind of loud. Started digging up under these trees. I stopped, uh, as I started to turn the dirt over, I saw, I think, I saw two silver coins drop down in the hole, guys. Oh, and maybe more. Let's see. We, we got them. We got them. Look at that. 
and there's a uh, there's a quarter over there. Holy cow! Got a 1953 Rosie, and we got a we got a Washington quarter, a 44, and I don't know, maybe more in there too. I don't know. Well, guys, we're talking two, three inches down. That's all it is, just a couple inches down. Did not expect this to be silver. Uh, well, let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna check this. We got another one. There's three. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right there, holy crap. Tom, we're talking three inches tops. Three inches? Yeah, right here. And we got them, and we, and we got a Merc. We got a Rosie, a Washington, and a Merc. Wow, not expecting this. Let's try this again, guys. You gotta get that horseshoe out of your ass. No, that horseshoe's feeling really good right now. All right, I think that's it, guys. Sorry, a little bad camera work there. I'm not good at these live dig things. Um, I'm going to rescan the whole, see if there, what else there is. But, wow, that's uh, five silvers out of the yard for me. <laughs> wow. All right, see you at the next. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, same hole. I just... Uh, let's see if I can get... Uh, let's see if I can find my left shoe there. I am getting another signal right over here. find it another one that makes four guys holy crap this is the best silver spell I've ever had let's see what we got that would be cool if it was a barber it would be awesome another Merc nice. holy I don't well, I'm not gonna swear I never swear on camera so I just dug a memorial. I'm gonna swear a lot when I get off here though so you young guys are gonna have to make sure that I don't uh, I got one. A memorial. All right. <laughs> All right. I was rambling a second ago. This is awesome. Um, and I haven't rescanned it yet either with the with the detector. I just went in with the pro pointer. But um, wow. Let's try it again. Hey guys, I'm out this afternoon. Uh, with my buddy Tim over there doing a house. He got his permission at a house from uh, 1887. Uh, been doing. Been here a while. A lot. Of, there's a lot of trash, and um, I think I found one wheat. I just plugged this out, and I did I did look at it already, only the fact to see that it is a silver, and it is a half dollar. I have no idea what it is. It's all I've seen so far is that right there. Uh, at least I could see the focus a little bit. Don't rub it. Yeah, no, don't. That's, that's an oldie. Yep, Walker, Walker. Yeah, you know what, guys? Let me. Uh, you got a walker. Yeah, let me go clean this up a little bit with some water. Be back with you in a second. This is uh, I never. Last year I never even got a walker. Uh, I was walkerless last year, so I'm hoping that's what this is. I'll be back with you in a second. Let me go find some water or some diet coke or something. Be right back. All right, guys. Uh, I'm gonna clean this thing off, and to do that, I went and got the doctor. Yeah, the doctor. Uh, I don't have any water. I think this will work. 22 cent can use Diet Pepsi. I can use Dr. Pepper. And I'm missing. Come on now. Alright, this is taking too long, sorry. Alright, there it is. That's as far as I'm gonna go. It's uh it's a 1944 guys. Let me get it. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, still out with all the guys. Al's over there. Um, Hanuk Yoda, who's right here, just about uh, 10 minutes ago, he just yeah. dug himself a. Uh, this is Chuck E. Cheese token. Yeah, right. A king, a king. Uh, I'm sorry, King George the First, um, large sense, um, you know, colonial, and uh, dated from 1723, 1724, and uh, not to be outdone, just got the same thing. Uh, I can't see much on it at all. I just see a damn look at it. He comes over and says, oh yeah, that's what the, he can, he sees everything. He had a flashlight on it. Anyway, this is a King George the First, 
Woods Hibernia. And, uh, it's dated from 17, it's either 17 or 20, 1723 or 1724. The only two years they made this, so cool. She's smiling. I'm smiling. And uh, wow. And, awesome. Alec, and Alec got one yesterday. That's why we're here. Yeah, this is just uh, so cool. Um, All right, guys, uh, we're still here. This beautiful house here. Uh, kind of finished the area that I was working and decided to come back and I zigged across it the first time and came back and decided I wanted to zag across it. And uh, I'm glad I did. Except now I gotta find out where I put it. But I had a real deep, iffy signal. Uh, it was down there a ways, probably about eight inches. Uh, it just, I was getting a 46, 47 just a couple of times in one direction. I already looked at it. Um, there it is, okay. And uh, I was able to see what it is. It's my third barber quarter out of this yard. Oh, I'm gonna love this town. The only problem is it's three hours from my house, but uh, wow. Uh, and this is a spot I just went over. But like I said, I decided to come back and, uh, let me get some water on this and clean up a bit. But I decided to come back and uh, go the opposite direction a little bit and see if I can come up across and uh, excellent. I'll get right back with you with the game. Hey guys, Digger Don here. I stopped after work today on a Friday doing a farmhouse out in a rural area. Anyway, I've been uh, digging around here a little bit and been getting some uh, odds and ends junk. Um, haven't found any silver. Had a decent signal, it was a 1246. Uh, it's down about six, seven inches, and I was uh, hoping I was going to find silver, and I didn't. But I don't know if you can see it down there. I cleaned it a little bit. I got myself a large end, guys, and it looks like it might be in fairly decent shape. Uh, best I can tell, I, it's eight, I think it's an 1850-something. I'll clean it more when I get home, but uh, how awesome is that, huh? I almost didn't go out today. Someone told me to go out and give it a shot, and I just did. So I'm going to give it some more, you know, a little bit more time here, but awesome. All right, we'll see you at the next. Now we're about to call it a day. There's a nice house over there. That's kind of cool. But uh, got me a, a signal. I've already cleaned this up, guys. So it's I just put it in the hole. I guess kind of for effect. I got this, and it's a uh, it's an old whistle. It was full of dirt. I've been playing with it for the last couple minutes, trying to get the dirt out of it, and I finally did. Um, I'll clean it up some more. It does say the Metropolitan on it, and it does say let me put it up here, and it does say made in England. Um, I don't think it's silver, but it. Tim thinks it is. I don't think it is, but it's kind of cool, and uh, I got it cleaned out enough that. Uh, bear with me here, guys. <laughs> now it's not working. How nice is that? <laughs> anyway, it works. So, hi hey guys. Cool. I'm back. There's Tim. It is absolutely baking out here. I'm a big guy, and I'm about dying. And every time I'm getting ready to stop, something like this happens. Uh, we switched houses again. A couple doors down. And uh, hopefully you can see this, the sun is brutal right here. I just got myself a large scent. You know what, I'm gonna move over to the shady area here and see if I can get a better picture of it for you. Because I can't. Oh yeah, definitely a large scent. Uh, wow, if I'm panting, I apologize. It's probably coming over loud on the camera, but it is absolutely insane out here. You know what, let me, um, let me clean it up a little bit and I'll show you. I can't tell if I'm getting this in frame or not. It's too sunny. But uh, got ourselves a large scent. Excellent. See you guys at the next. I'm having a great day today.